We've actually already implemented some of the ideas around self-regulation in our school district uh, and we're seeing huge success for those students uh, that are been accessing it. Well, it looks like um, teachers feeling there's a support for them in the classroom and for the students themselves and actually the parental engagement that we're finding with some of those elementary students uh, has been actually the unexpected, unintended consequence of that and it's been really nice to see them seeing that they see that as an action for their child to be able to, or uh, an activity their child can participate in that is part of the classroom but also allows them to self-regulate if they need to at their own pace. That partnership has uh, grown as some in the old traditional resource room model where it was more a punitive kind of uh, uh, approach to um, perhaps regulation, not self-regulation. Uh, from a teacher's point of view, this is where students are saying, I need to remove myself from the space, but there's another activity, another adult that's caring for me that will help me get re-engaged back into the classrooms. So we call them TLC rooms, and they're rooms in which we have parents engaged, we have uh, our support staff engaged, our administrative staff, and our teaching staff. And it's uh, all day long, they're available in all our elementary schools, and it's really quite uh, powerful to watch those students. And it's not seen as punitive, it's seen as a, another space where they can go. Uh, some students see it as a reward as well, so there's some students that are very high-functioning students that actually use the room as well. There's peer uh, mentorship and leadership that goes on with those uh, spaces. And so it's been something that we've, as a district, have seen, recognized as something is uh, valuable for our elementary kids and we're trying to branch it up into our middle school and our secondary school in some way too.